Okay, the solution for day 67 then should be, hopefully, reasonably straightforward. But we do need a few bits and pieces. We do need to include an image or placeholder for an image. So we need a canvas for that. We need to have a label to put messages on, a text box to type the name of the person in, and therefore we also need a button to activate that. Now, I'm starting from the template where I have my Guess Who folder with all my pictures in there. And so I'm going to start by loading those in as images. So let's see. Um, I'm going to set my mine up to be 200 by, that's width, isn't it? So let's go for 400 by 200. And I'm going to call it Guess Who. And let's just run that to check that everything is loading as we'd expect. Looks good so far. Okay, my label packed in the center there. I'm going to go type in a name. I'm just, going to call, I'm just going to put guess who here and actually put a label value. So change that text to be the label value. Um, the button's going to be find. And I'm also going to bring in a text box. So text equals tk.text. Text. Uh, and the text in there is going to be, oh, sorry, completely wrong. We're going to add that to the window with a height of one, and a width of say 30. Text.pack to put that in there. I'm not using grids here because I don't need a lot of control over the way it's looking. Let's just check that looks okay. So that's all right there. Let's make that a bit higher so I can see what everything, everything that's going on in the window. Yeah, that's not bad at all there. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to hide this bit here. So I can see everything. That's okay. So I've got my ability to type there. Got my guess who. Um, so I am going to add in a canvas. I add that just below here. So I'm going to create a canvas. TK.canvas. Is that spelling again? Common issue for me with this. <laughs> it's going to be in the window. I'm going to make it the width of the window, which is I think 400 and a height which is, well, let's call it, um, and I'm going to pack that into the window. Let's see if that's worked. So nothing shouting because there should be an invisible canvas element there. Okay, so I now need to load into my canvas all my images. So let's find my folder of people and make sure I've got them. So let's load my image of Charlotte. She's going to be tk.photo image file equals. Now I think we're going to have to go guess who forward slash charlotte.jpg. Now I'm going to do the same thing then for all four of my people. So I've got Gerald, I've got Katie, and I've got Mo. And let's just run that and see if anything errors. Oh yes, JPEGs, loading JPEGs <laughs> are a little bit difficult. So now remembering that we need to get our PIL image library. We're gonna to go to our packager. We're gonna search for pillow hyphen PIL. And we're gonna bring this library in. As that installs itself, we're gonna bring in our images. So instead of photo image, what we're gonna replace it with is we're gonna replace it with image dot image dot open and the bit there needs to go in brackets and it's not TK remember it's image dot TK that we need to bring in there capital T okay K so with that done I'm gonna replace Gerald Katie and Mo and we'll know this this will have worked if when we run it we don't get any errors so image TK is not defined. That's because I haven't imported it. So from PIL, import image and image TK. There we go. That looks good to me. So the reason we have that, of course, is because the JPEG library is something that it doesn't understand natively and it needs to bring in. So hopefully that's loaded okay. And we'll have a mess around in a second and see if everything has worked according to plan. So I've just widened that up a little bit so that we're not having uh, any weirdness with how our text is displaying on the left hand side. Okay, 
Let's just check that works, first of all, by placing one of these inside the canvas. And remember, we do container equals canvas dot create image. Let's go for 151 and image equals, let's start with, and Mo's popped up there. But what we want to do is to make the image appear. I'm just gonna take that code out for a second. We want the image to only appear when we pick a person from the list. So let's write that function. First thing we need to do is pull the, the information from the text box. So let's get person equals text.get 1.0, which is the starting position to the end. That'll give us the person. We then need to use that person to open up one of the variables. So we're going to say if person equals equals, let's do person dot lower dot strip just in case equals equals. Let's do mo to start with. Then what I need to do is update the image with mo. So canvas dot item config container image. So let's connect that up to the button before we run it. Command equals show image. So let's put Mo in there and click find. Okay, I'm not getting container not defined because I've done something silly here, haven't I? I haven't put a container in yet. I haven't put the image in. So let me put Mo in by default. I find Mo, I get Mo. Okay, right. So let's put an elif in. So if it's Charlotte, we change the image to Charlotte. If it is Gerald, we change the image to Gerald. If it is, if it is Katie, we change the image to Katie. Let's try that out and see if that works. Hey, there we go. And Gerald. And Charlotte. There we go. We're getting everyone's picture coming in. The only thing is we haven't got an else for if it's not in there. So an else, if it's not there, we're actually going to change the value of the label. So the label is called hello, the text, unable to find this user. So let's see if I can find David, unable to find this user. But if I look for Katie, boom, and it works. Now there's a lot to that because it's a bit of a faff, but we've got it working at least. All right.